Tom's thinly slicing his cured venison. And Nick's building small stacks with his langoustine, avocado salsa, tomato slices and langoustine oil. I'm relieved the first cook is over, I have yeah. to say. Get yeah. that under your belt, you know? They both look fantastic. Tom, what do you think of this, then? <laughs> it looks lovely, eh? Nick, what do you think of Tom's? It's nice, it's really colourful. I, I'm thinking it through in my head, you know, the, the flavours from the sounds throw with the beetroot. I taste the beetroot garnish, it's lovely. But without actually eating the whole thing through, you, you don't know. Ah, well, you're going to find out that soon, I'm quite sure. Well, that's what they say in front of one another, but in private it can be a different story. I think it's time they got to taste their rival's efforts. Nick's first to go for a nibble. Right, it's Mr Lewis's soused roe deer. It looks very pretty, doesn't it? It's very nice. Is his rival starter going to boost or burst his somewhat shaky confidence? Unfortunately, the, the overlying thing in my palate is salt. So it's over-seasoned. The, 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 the cure on the venison has it's been a bit too much, I think. And there's another hitch. And I'm not sure how you're going to eat it. That's another thing with picking up the oat cakes or to try and... I don't know if Queenie picks up <laughs> stuff off her plate and has a nibble at it. It would make a great canopy, actually. Hmm, um, I don't think Tom would put his royal starter in the same category as a volavant. I would be reasonably comfortable that uh, that my dish is uh, edged ahead on the first coup. He certainly seems to think he's got this one in the bag. Yeah. Now it's Tom's turn to get stuck into his friend and neighbour Nick's dish. He says he came down here to win, but is he still as gung-ho? Destroy his presentation. That's it, wreck the dish straight away. Lovely. It's really clean. It's really nice, you know. But you can taste all the flavours, you know. There's no one massive flavour. It's, um, it's not, you know, it's not creamy or buttery. It's that lovely kind of... Your mouth kind of pops, yeah. It's very nice. Surely he can find something wrong, or is it just better than his starter? Can't believe this. It's just not going very well for me, is it? Perhaps he's been too quick to knock the old master. Nick's obviously still got the knack. But the real test for the two chefs in this Scottish heat of Great British Menu will come when they recook all their dishes for the judges' tasting on Friday. Will Tom Lewis's homegrown haute cuisine tickle their taste buds? Or will Nick Nairn's classic combos have them calling for more? <laughs>